Hey everybody, welcome to another installment of Five Questions. This time I'm sitting down with photographer Yvonne Radic of Face Center. for being here. So tell me about the second book. How is this different than your first? What can people expect? So this second book is more of a travel diary into 30 cities around the world. I want people to be inspired as the first thing. I want to them to see so many different images from different parts of the world and say, oh wow, I didn't know that it existed in that part of the world. And as well, to break cliches about many cities because I think people usually know about okay, New York, Paris, London, for Los Angeles, for the urban cultures, but they have no idea that maybe in Iceland or in uh, in India as well, like a very interesting urban culture. So I want to show that in my book as well. And what catches your eye when you're photographing? I'm looking for a uniqueness and and soul. I would say. I mean, it's not just about the clothes and the trend. It's more about the the full package. You can consider. It is style when you can see the connection between the person and what she's wearing. Mm -hmm. it has to be like a natural extension of the personality. I mean, if it's too far away, it's a costume, or it's like a trying hard, or it's like trying to be someone else. Or you have to feel yeah. around the style and the clothes that it's still the person. What advice do you have to someone who wants to start, you know, photographing or their own street style blog? I mean, I think what is important is like to find your own niche. I mean, it's like in most of their business and activities, but and nowadays it's more difficult because it's already very saturated, but it's why you need to find an angle that no one has. When I started, it was just like a cute little romantic activity of like walking under the sun, the snow, the rain for hours and finding a pretty girl taking picture of her and it was like very special. And now it's like this sort of speed dating business where people go to four fashion week in a row and they take holiday to that and then they shoot as much as possible, hundreds and hundreds of images and they sell them to magazine and it's like, it switched from something more genuine into something more sort of set up. Is there still like a moment you know when you when you have the shot? Like do you get like a tingly feeling? I mean it happens so often that yeah. it's not like you oh. know, I mean every day I more or less take that kind of picture so yeah. it's not like I'm like fainting because it's so incredibly emotional but I mean That's I, how I imagined it. <laughs> but I mean it's still some kind of excitement to see that someone is not just part of a standardized aesthetic. Yeah. And for you consistently, what is the most stylish city? Well, there's quite a few, but I really love Stockholm, in the capital of Sweden. I think it's like, it's one of those cities where you have a sense of style that is quite uh, universal. It's not just a few fashion people. It's kind of like, even people in science or IT would have like their shops, sense of style. Yeah. Well, there it is. Thank you so much. Um, I, I really enjoyed this time with you. And Me too. Appreciate it. Cool. Okay.